So hello everyone, um, just thought I'd take a little time out, um, I've obviously the last video I've got my doublet antenna up and now I've um, got to start to use it. So this is the setup, um, I have the twin line here, the 300 ohm ribbon coming into my SDR play too and obviously this is the PC, um, now it's very difficult obviously to compare things, um, band conditions can change so much and so on. But all I can say is that the spectrum seems a lot more sparky and um, seems to be a lot more information on the spectrum um, than I'm used to seeing. So it's anecdotal, but that's what I see. Um, the, uh, the plan is, is that uh, I'm going to start uh, using this tuner from time to time. It's not connected up yet. Um, and see how it uh, affects things on HF in particular. Um, I haven't integrated it yet. I have to um, get solder um, uh, a patch lead with a um, PL259 socket for the back of this down to an SMA to go into the antenna port um, on the SDR Play 2. Um, and yeah, we'll see. You know if the tuner makes any difference um, in, in screening out any of the un, unwanted RF um, on uh, on the shortwave frequencies. Um, so yeah, so I've uh, copied some signals I haven't copied before today. Um, you'll see that next now. Um, uh, I think. I just recorded a second ago. Uh, what was it? Um, oh yeah, Radio Oromaya, I think it's called. Um, from Ethiopia. So it's a 100 kilowatt transmitter. Uh, that's the CSV user list software that I use to run with SDR Uno. Um, but I just confirmed that on uh, shortwave info as well and um, there so um, so that was neat enough to hear something I hadn't heard before I don't know how usual it is to pick it up here in Europe anyway that's the progress today and uh, so if we get any unusual catches with my big 20 meter Dublin antenna um, I'll be sure to post them okay radio or am I